This is another episode of 15. We're back because... The... 15! We're back because the Oscars are back, Dan. Last year... Yeah, they are. Last year, we got up blurry-eyed and bushy-tailed, and you read out the Oscar nominees. We've both managed to avoid them. I've stayed off Twitter for 24 hours, which sort of reveals how addicted it... I am to it, to be honest. It's called X. Yeah, I, I haven't uh, moved over to that yet. Dan, you also... Nor should you, because it's stupid. You don't... You don't, what, what do you do? You don't tweet anymore. You exclaim. Is that what you do? That's, That's good. That's good. That good. I'd copyright that pretty pronto. Yeah. Okay. Um, Dan, you have got the Oscar noms out. We've managed to avoid seeing them. Before we jump into them, you're going to read them out to us. We both don't know what these are. We're going to react to them live, reacting to the Oscar nominations. Dan, what films are you hoping to get nominated? I know you're a big fan of the holdovers, poor things. Are they some of your favourites? From I am, and yeah. I hope in the animation category, one that we haven't talked about, the follow-up to uh, the Spider-Man animated movie, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Oh, yeah, which I didn't see. I've seen the original, though, and I didn't really like the original. But, um, yeah, I don't... you're a man of poor taste. I think uh, The Boy and the Heron's going to beat that this year, by the way. Just to just let you know. I don't think that's going to yeah, be it's... the Oscar winner. Everyone's know, loving shame. that one. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, of course, Danny's very hot on the animation category. That's one of his favourites. Um, As you can Dan... see behind me. <laughs> Which Dan, describe that for the um, audio listeners. It's big and it's purple. And flame sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> it's thick dastardly and muttly. Oh, you doing in... Is that his vehicle? The big purple and um... the main machine. That is that's excruciating. Right, let's go straight. What do they call it? ASMR. <laughs> and what they call that? Okay, Dan, where are we starting with the categories? This is always gives me a bit, always gives me a bit of um. It just gives me a bit nervous, listeners, because Dan actually has control of this show because Dan kind of steers where we go. I am um, the ship. Doesn't stop you from uh, putting your ten penneth in for your cents. <laughs> that ten penneth. Uh, remember, guys, if you are listening, if you hit the show notes, you can click a quick link and you can see us uh, looking exhausted this morning, recording this in person. Dan, you say special effects. What special effects? Is that where we're starting? Visual effects. Visual. Sorry, effects. I thought you were saying is it special effects that we look this tired? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> insane budget. Um, now I think Oppenheimer is getting nominated. Uh, and I don't know what else. Any ideas? Ooh, what else? You're going to read them out. Cross. I'm not bothered. So th- okay, the nominees right, are The Creator. Oh, the Alex Garland, Garland film. Available on Disney+. Plus. Godzilla no, it minus wasn't, one. Sorry, it's not the Alex Garland film. It's the guy that used to do Godzilla, whatever he's called. Sorry, it's not the Alex Garland film. Okay. Godzilla minus one. Oh, right, yeah. That did By Alex well. Garland. No. Um, <laughs> no. It's just really confused. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Oh, it's Napoleon. Oh, I forgot about Napoleon this year. Freaking hell. Yeah, well, that tells you all you need to know. And Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, Part 1. So it's the big the big blockbuster films. And the winner is... Yeah. All right, Dan, we have to... For every category as well, we have to do our... Who we want to win, who we think will win. So I don't think I've seen any of those films. Sorry, we rattle them off again quickly. <laughs> the creator, Godzilla minus one, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, Mission Impossible, and Napoleon. Well, I've seen one of them, and it was oh. boring. What did you say, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? Somewhere? Yeah, uh, I guess Napoleon will probably win. Uh who cares? Who I, I want. Cares? I want and think Godzilla minus one to win the Japanese film. Let's go for that. Next up is sound. The nominees are. The creator. I love how we, Maest- start, we start with a bang. Yeah. Maestro. Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, part one. Makes me think there's going to be a part two. Oppenheimer. Ooh. First nom for the op. Zone of interest. Oh, zone of interest for sound. I haven't seen yeah. zone of interest yet. Okay, Dan, what do you think will win? What do you want to win there? I guess Oppenheimer might win. Not maestro. Maestro not got big um, orchestral moments. Sound. The watch it and find out. I don't well, think it's, I don't think the sound is used as creatively as powerfully as in Oppenheimer. It's just a bit more linear in its delivery. Uh, yeah, I want Oppenheimer to win, and I think Oppenheimer will win. 
Why not? Let's go for that. Okay, first big one. Live okay. short action film. No, no, we're not doing the we're not doing the shorts. We haven't seen any of the shorts. Before. You have. We haven't seen any of these shorts. You have. Why? Wow, what's the wonderful it? story of Henry Sugar? Oh right, okay. Oh right, okay. I am a little bit interested now. That was I genuinely thought that was the weakest of the four. By the way, the quartet of Wes Anderson shorts. I thought that was the weakest one. Oh, you might now notice I'm recording in the dark. Apparently, all the fuses I've just got in my house. So just an update there. I will try and color grade this, but I can't do it that well. I'm not a, unless I'm nominated this year at the Oscars. Um, so he- Henry Sugar, yeah. What else? The After, Invincible, Night of Fortune, Red, White, and Blue. All right. So cool. let's go and say wonderful story of Henry Sugar there. Let's do it. Lock it in. Uh, lock it in. Right. We're on to production design. The big one. The big. The big PD. Poor things. I'm assuming poor things here. Poor Things is nominated. Would you like to guess the other four? Nope. Okay, you can get them. Probably Napoleon. Correct. Kills of the Flower Moon. Correct. Oppenheimer. Yeah. One Barbie. More. Barbie. Bang on. You got there the we list, go. Then. Ooh, no, they were just the obvious ones. Um, I, I've I've written down the films that could be nominated, and so I was ah. looking at that for for inspiration. Um, the, the big collective films from this year. Do you know Ruth? Uh, sorry, the production diner for Oppenheim Ruth was, Jones. Called, was called Ruth De Jong. It's good, isn't it? Very nice. It's a good name. I wonder if she's caught short. She needs to get to De Jong. Yeah, very good. Okay, it wasn't that good. Let's keep going. Well, this is quite good. No? Movie star Arthur Max. As a name? Yeah. Is Max but Double I... X? No. Single. Oh, shame. Oh, well. And he, and he will remain single. Right, let's keep going. Oh, just went on Best Picture. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, music mo- The original song Oh, isn't uh, Billie Eilish nominated? Uh, she won the Golden Globe For the something in Barbie, right? Correct What am I made for? From Barbie Music by lyrics by Billie Eilish oh, and Phineas. Phineas, Phineas O'Connell I think that's Phineas how Her Phineas. brother Is he Keep Greek? Keep going Keep moving <laughs> Phineas <laughs> That would be Greek Okay Wa Zahay Zahay, a song for my people from Killers of the Flower Moon. Oh, right. Okay. I can't remember that. I don't bit. think I'm saying that right. Isn't that the one that Jesse Plemons sings during it? <laughs> <laughs> um, it Never Went Away from American Symphony by John Baptiste. Oh, John, I know John Baptiste. He does the music for the Stephen Colbert show. There you go. The, late show. Uh, the, the Fire Inside from Flaming Hot. Never heard of either of those things. And I'm just kin when I see oh, love, she sees a friend. Oh. Is it my destiny to live and die a life of blood fragility? Has he got, um, do they only give, so they give the artist and the, uh, the pensmith, you know, whoever wrote it. Nice. So, so, so he, he would be Produce nominated the word there. artist. Right. Um, Ryan, Ryan Gosling would be nominated there, right? He, he feels like he could win. Let's hope. He should go up, at least. You're looking at the nomination. I'm hoping you wouldn't know. He's not there, no. It's just Mark Ronson and Andrew Wyatt. But he'd probably go up. Does Mark Ronson just write everything in Hollywood now? Probably. where he does. Getting his bare dollars. Obviously, you want that to win, but I think Billy Eilish will win, by the way. Probably, yeah. But I want that to win. Uh, At at our staff party, uh, Grace and I killed it, dancing to um, Lee Barbie... Not what am I made for, and not I'm just kidding. The other one. Oh, oh, you work at a morgue, don't you? I do. Correct. Right, the staff party. Um, okay, go on. You, one was a real Killed cadaver. It, it was. Um, <laughs> music, original score. Right, the Amarones are American fiction. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Oh, I watched that the other day. Awful film. <laughs> Surely the music is just the Indiana yeah. Jones music. Yeah, it's good music. Um, John, but... That just feels like John Williams is getting a finger at the bum hole for you know how much. Alive. You know, first, two things. Do you know how many You're things he likes up on that? Bum hole? Yeah, finger... Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't you worry about that. Do you know how much he steals music? Can't we just stole what, the Star Wars? The Star Wars. Yeah. He says, you can't get it. You can't reach it now. Okay. <laughs> Who else? Too gay. Who else is nominated? <laughs> <laughs> Killers of the Flower Moon. Yeah. Uh, Oppenheimer and Poor Things. 
And we spoke when his we... score is bizarre. Yeah, but we did talk about it. I guess it's kind of uh, interesting. Right, what do we think's winning there, by the way? You know, mm. what the hell is winning there? They'll probably give it to John Williams. Cause... Let's just... uh, to be fair, I wouldn't yeah. mind if Indiana Jones won something. Yeah. Even though it was a bad film. Uh, right, do you want to do makeup and hairstyling? You tell me to start the shit awards. Let's do it. I think we can pick the pairs up for them a little bit. Though. Okay, nominees are Golda, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Poor Things, Society on the Snow. Sorry, Society of the Snow. What was the first one? Golda. I've never heard of that. Okay, nope, what do we right. think's winning there? Poor Things? Hope so. Okay. Maestro's is... Uh, the Nose. He got a yeah, nomination the for The Nose. He got nominated for The Nose. I don't want to go near that topic, to be honest. Let's keep moving. Okay. International feature film. Oh. Okay, yeah. So, Past Lives, Anatomy of a Fall. We think we'll get nominated here. Is Zone of Interest counted as international? Yes. Are those the three? Ma- Zone of Interest from yeah. the United Kingdom. Really, in all seriousness, we, I genuinely am a bit nervous here because... I really need Past Lives to get nominated here because if it doesn't get nominated here, it's not going to nominate anyone else and it's the film of the year. So, The Teacher's Lounge Didn't from Germany. I heard of that one. Society of the Snow from Spain. I got nominated again. Perfect Days oh from God, it's Japan. It's not nominated then. Anatomy of a Fall will beat it. Io Capitano from Italy. So, whoa, one sec. Anatomy of a Fall and Past Lives are both not nominated. And they're counted For as international French feature and Korean. Film. Yeah, interesting. That is very weird. Maybe the bubble's burst. Well, yeah, the last few years we've been integrating foreign films way so much more um, into the Oscar noms, as in further up into the major categories. But if you're not nominating your, in the foreign language film, you're very unlikely to get nominated anywhere else. That is we've spice. seen all of these. The next one. What's the category? Film editing. Oh, now, this is the one that usually correlates nicely to Best Picture. So we'll Oppenheimer, do next. Oppenheimer, obviously. No, don't do that. <laughs> Oppenheimer is obviously nominated. Obviously. It is by Jennifer Lame. And it's editing uh, is Stella that uh, has to win this category. No, Jennifer Lame. <laughs> uh, what else is nominated here? Poor Things. Is The Holdovers nominated? The Holdovers is nominated. Now, that's a very good sign for it doing well. Correct. I think, so you basically pick the best ones. I think they probably nominated Killers so Follow Me, by the way. They have as well. Selva oh, Shoemaker. What's the last one? Where's the last one? I bet it's not. It won't be Barbie. Probably, it might be Maestro, you know. Anatomy of a Fall. Oh, Anatomy of a Fall's there. God, they like it then. They do. I That's didn't think getting... the editing was good at all. <laughs> I didn't mind the editing. It was it was crossing between different textures, editing-wise. So it was actually quite good. But um, that means it's going to definitely get pissed. Luke, I can't hear you because your head's so far up your ass. <laughs> I, don't know why I, dislike. I feel like you just take a stand sometimes against a film that I like. I think that's kind of a bit of it. I think you the like it. <laughs> right, let's keep moving. Okay, 2017, but four, seven years ago, where'd let it go? So that means and maybe an anime before didn't have enough because it was half English. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, let's keep going. That's okay, weird. documentary short film. Do you want to hear about that? No, not at all. Just learned it. Documentary feature film. Do you want to hear about that? Afraid not. There was a time, listeners, when Luke used to be fucking spaffing up the wall for, oh, have you seen this film? It's a documentary for Miss N. But when I studied film, it was all documentary. It was only documentary for three years. So Didn't that's ask. <laughs> well, I had to kind of defend myself. Okay. Right, here Animated we are, feature now. film. We're going to be yeah. on the first big one. Right. So the this Boy is... and the Heron. Yeah, the one, right. you, the one you liked there. Elemental. Oh, Elemental's there. Nimona. Robot moment. Dreams and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. All right. Does that make you want to watch Imona and Robot Dreams? I think Robot Dreams is the um, explicit animation, isn't it? It's it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I'll be up for that. It's like a robot ramming a jerry can in a glory hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's the... Tr- <laughs> Right, let's That's go. The, uh, one sec. That's the trail for you right there. Let's keep moving. I had to get my line after yours because I'm cutting all that fucking dinosaur sound out. Let's okay, writing. We're on adapted screenplay. Right. Okay. Okay, let's think about this then. We can work this out probably. So go obviously on, Oppenheimer. Yeah. Obviously. Because that came from, what is it? Modern Prometheus or something. I think it's called Big Big Boom. <laughs> Did somebody hear the bomb? Um... <laughs> 
Uh, what else is it? Gosh, that Meredith, thing? that stinks in there. You really dropped a bomb. Oh, poor things. No, Derek. Poor things it's is adapted. It's an atomic blast. Poor the things. radiation's coming out of my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> poor things. Yeah, it's there. Is Tales of the Fire third... Moon adopted? I don't think that's adapted. I just nearly the other ones I can't remember. Oh, Blackberry. This is the only time Blackberry could get nominated, by the way. It's right. not. Okay. American fiction. Oh, right. Barbie. Is that adapted from what? Adapted from Barbie? It's not really adapted from a novel, though, is it? It's on there. Adapted from something. It must just be adapted from pop culture. Maybe then. she wrote a story about it. Maybe. She didn't, but maybe. Oppenheimer, Poor Things, and The Zone of Interest. Oh, right. Okay, I didn't know that came from a novel. Okay. Still haven't seen... By the way, just for... just for The only ones we haven't seen are the big films. We haven't seen Zone of Interest, May, December. All the strangers didn't seem like it's going to get nominated. But they're the three. We've seen everything else, me and Dan. Writing original screenplay, then. Maybe he'll be eating his hat live on camera. Original screenplay. This is now... This is usually the best category, let's be honest. Yeah, we like this one. This is the hipster choice. Um, I think Anatomy of a Fall will definitely get nominated here. Correct. I think Holdovers definitely should get nominated. That's Correct. Very good. Correct. Uh, Kills of the Fire Moon, maybe? Incorrect. Good. It's not very good, is it? We're not going to have Maestro, are we? Correct. Oh, God. I mean, I only watched 20 minutes of Maestro, but it's a news fest. I will finish it at some stage. I don't know what the others are, Dan. Hopefully Past Lives. Where's Past Correct. Lives? Oh, thank God for that. And your last okay. one, May, December. Right. We haven't seen that yet. Oh, thank God. Past Live got nominated. Oh, that's good to know. I'm, uh, I'm pleased of the three I've seen. Maestro is a bit of an odd choice. The writing's... Yeah, no, okay. I, I, the writing's all right. How much do they work the, the nose into the writing? Um, Don't you know, keep saying the word it. schnoz. Yeah. So I guess that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to move you away. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to move you away. Feet. Oh, yeah. Get a bit nervous. Uh, what haven't we done? I've forgotten what we've done. Sorry, what? Right, I'll say, uh, just to pause on them, we need to pick our winners for Adapted and for Original Screenplay. So who do you think's winning Adapted? Uh, thinks winning I've... want to win. I think adapted screenplay should be Poor Things, who I want to win, who probably will win, will be Oppenheimer. I think it's very close between those two, too, as well. I kind of am with you there. Writing, well, I've only seen three of them, and of the three of them, I think Holdovers is better than Anatomy of a Fall, but Anatomy of a Fall is very good. I bet Anatomy of a Fall wins that, by the way. Have you seen Past Lives? Is it Anatomy of a Fall better than... Past Lives is the best film of the year, Dan. But is I the think writing it should better? Win. Oh, God, yeah. Past Lives is well better, but I don't even think it will win. Okay. But I think Anatomy of Four will win. It does have some... It has big dialogue scenes in the courtroom drama. It's just, it just feels like it will win. But um, yeah. Holdover's dialogue's fantastic. It's a great screenplay from Alexander Payne. Again. As always. Alexander right, are we, into, are we into acting now? Do you want to yeah. go... To, or do you want to do cinematography? Oh, yeah, let's do cinematography, yeah. Cinematography, then. El Conde. El Conde. What the hell is El that? No idea. Is, Pretty, it an, is it an Inuritu film? Is it something like that? Whose film is Edward that? Lachman. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Oh, one sec. Is it black and white? They always get a black and white film in there. That's Let's you, find it. it. 2023 film. Good to know. Yeah, is it black and white? Uh, uh, uh. It's about 250-year-old vampire. It's probably black and white then. Probably a bit of it. Oh, wait a minute. No, I saw the... Um, I've seen the poster for that. I will watch that now. Oh, it's fun. Is it El Conde? It's, it's on it's December. It's, it's on Netflix. El Conde. Yeah, I've seen that on Netflix. I will watch that. Right. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to watch that. I'll watch it first. What else, uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. Yeah. Maestro. Oppenheimer. Poor Things. Mm -hmm. I mean, Maestro, Maestro is doing very well. Maestro well, we knew it doing... would be. That's its biggest I didn't know issue. It would do... I didn't know it was going to do that well. It's so indulgent. It's, as Dan likes to say, it feels massively Oscar bait film. It feels like a complete Oscar bait film. Gosh, can't get those words out of my mouth. Okay, we're going to do directing. Shall no, we? No, 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 no. Do you want to do the four acting? Yes, obviously. Let's do the four acting. Uh, let's do actor in a supporting role. 
Right, should we try and work some of these out? So we both think Robert Downey Jr. has got this sewn up. Correct. I'm really hoping Dosling got nominated. He did. Yes. Nice. It would be great if he wins it. I don't think he deserves it. If he, Robert Downey Jr. I think obviously De Niro must get nominated, obviously. Correct. Now, who do you you'll be with? pleased. You'll be pleased with the, the next one. Oh, did Paul Mescal got nominated for All the Strangers? No. Oh. oh, not the guy from Past Lives. No. Oh, no. Poor things. Oh yeah, Mark Ruffalo, obviously. Yeah. Oh, he's amazing. God, these are great. No, wow, what actors these are. And oh, then Sterling the K. One? Brown for American Fiction. Oh right, okay, okay. Which we need to so, see, by the way. We said that at the back end of last year, didn't we? That we thought it would be between De Niro and Robert Downey Jr. Now, further away from it, I don't think De Niro deserves it at all. I think that will go to Robert Downey Jr. I think it's pretty much sewn up. Yeah. I think it's genuinely sewn up. Uh, RDJ has got that. But, and deservingly so. He's fantastic. Actress in a supporting role, then. Now, we think uh, thing he's got this sewn up completely, hasn't she? Uh, from Holdovers. Divine. Divine Joy Randolph. Yeah, apparently she's got that sewn up. She's won everywhere well, else. She's she's nominated, so you'll be yeah. pleased to hear. Yeah. Um, Jodie Foster for Nyad. Uh, America Ferreira for Barbie. What? No, no, no. Now, I heard before she might get nominated for that. There's no way. You know, she's the mum, right, Danny in, yeah, in Barbie? Yeah. There's no way she deserves to get nominated. No, what? she was. Like, it's, she, was she was almost the worst part of the film. No, she wasn't the worst part of it. I'm being way over dramatic there. She was perfectly good. But nomin really? That feels bizarre for her to get nominated there. Of all the things I've seen. She yeah, doesn't stay in your mind. She doesn't stay she, in your mind at all. She's nothing no. to do with the I know she's a big part of the film, but she's not the film when you think about the film. No, not at all. Um That's weird. Danielle Brooks from The Colour Purple. Oh, I haven't and seen And Emily Blunt from Oppenheimer. Oh right. So really it's between those two, was... isn't it? I think I think it's that is that is I think that's of all the awards so far, that's easily the biggest nailed on. She's got yeah, that. Because Emily that Blunt was good, but it wasn't a particularly complex role, I don't think. No. If anything, I think, a... following, I think Florence Pugh was better than Emily Blunt, to be honest. In Oppenheimer? Yeah. She's got like, less screen time, but she's still probably enough yeah. screen time to get a nomination. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, yes, Div uh, Divine Roy Jandall. What? Divine Joy <laughs> Randall has got yeah. that Oscar. That is so up. Actor, then, in a leading role. Okay, this is a nice big one. Do you want to just read them out? Why don't you just go for them? Why don't you tell Bradley us? Bradley Cooper in Maestro. How many times is I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Bradley Cooper, but is that, is, I think that's his fourth Oscar nom now. Freaking I mean, is he hell. No, he's not. He's not with any. But bloody hell. He's a good actor. He is a good actor. Coleman Domingo for Rustin. Yeah, I've seen him get nominated a bunch of places. I haven't seen the film. Paul that means Dramatic. there's only three left. Okay. Matty for holdovers. Oh, I know what one of the next two is going to be, obviously. There's another obvious one to come in. Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer. Who the hell's and the last Jeffrey one? Jeffrey Wright from American Fiction. American Fiction's oh. doing very well, isn't it? Me and, now, we haven't seen that because it hasn't come out in the UK yet, but we did see the trailer whilst watching Holdovers, and it did look very good. Wait, did we? What was it about? Which one was that? It's about a black author that likes, writes a stereotypical oh, yeah, black yeah, book. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks fun. And Jeffrey Wright's a good fun. actor, so I'm happy for him there. Okay, so yeah. who, so wait a minute, who missed? So my guy from Past Lives is it? Yeah, Past Cal? Lives. Past out. Lives has only got one for writing so far. That's not going to get. Oh, he might get a best picture now, maybe. Um, but, so yeah, DiCaprio didn't get anything, I and mean, he never it, and he shouldn't have done. I wasn't no, actually didn't that impressed. It. Um, um, who, by the way, so that's close. So I always thought this was uh, nailed on for Killian Murphy for ages. Apparently, the tide's been shifting a bit, and poor Giamatti's got a serious chance. The well, poor Giamatti was, was fantastic. Incredible. He was very, very, very good. I wouldn't mind if he wouldn't, but I'd like Gillian Murphy to win. Okay, oh, oh. actress then in a leading role. Okay. Annette Benning by from Nyad. Yeah, for Nyad. Lily Gladstone for Killers of the Flower Moon. Oh right, so she missed out of the BAFTAs, but she gets nominated here. Okay. Sandra Huller for Anatomy yeah. of a Fall. Deserving. Carrie Mulligan for Maestro. You said she was amazing in that. She was very good. And Emma Stone in Poor Things. Oh, no Barbie. No Barbie. Well, Barbie was... Ne she was I think that's ludicrous I'm to fine. think that she was going to get any nom. But anyway. I am... No, as in Margot Robbie has not been nominated, but America Ferreira has. That's a bit weird. Oh, well, that is ridiculous, yeah. But to be fair, I'm happy... I don't think she was that good, so I'm actually okay with that. But that is a surprise. I, did not... I thought she was going to be nominated. That is a surprise. 
Uh, so just that... rattle them off again. Who, who do we think is winning there? Sorry. So there's Annette Benning from Nyad we haven't seen. Lily Gladstone, not going to win. Has, but she has a chance. Well, yeah, they all have a chance to be nominated. <laughs> um, more of a chance than fucking someone else, isn't it? Than Margot um, Robbie, yeah. Sandra Huller. No, I'd like be... her to win. I'd like her yeah. to win. I say Carrie Mulligan. So of those three, Carrie Mulligan and Emma Stone. Emma Stone is better than Carrie Mulligan for me, but as a performance, I'd probably say Sandra Huller is better than Emma Stone. I, th- I think Emma Stone's probably the favourite for the award. But I think correct. Emma Stone is the favourite, correct. But I would and like It would be Hullard. deserved, but um, I think that Sandra Huller's better. Agreed. Right, two to, th- two to go. We're almost there, guys. Stay with us now. So you want to do directing next? This is this is the one I get mo- generally is the one I get most excited for. This is definitely the most exciting one. Can I try and guess them? Yes. So obviously Christopher Nolan is there. He is. I think obviously Scorsese is there. He is. Okay. Now, I don't think Barbie's going to be there. I don't think Greta Gerwig's there. Is she not? No, she's not. Wow, okay. Oh, oh, your ghost, Lanthi Moss, is obviously there. He is there, yes. For poor things. Okay, two to go. Is it the... I forgot her name, that's really bad, but is it the female director of Anatomy of Fall? Two... Uh, yeah, sorry, it is. Yeah, Justine Triet. Yes, perfect. And so there's one more who is going to be... Oh, Alexander Payne, obviously. No. Zone oh, of Interest. Zone of Interest. Jonathan Glazer. That's it, Jonathan yeah. Glazer. Oh, wow. Oh, so yeah. Holdo was missed out there. Alexander Payne, who's been nominated so many times. I think he's been nominated three or four times, but three times, I think, for director. Misses out. Yeah. Okay. Wow. We need to watch the Zone of Interest. Oppenheimer's right? going to win, presumably. I think Oppenheimer's in... Oh, Yorgos. Yorgos is the only guy that can get in there. I would agree, yeah. But I think that's Nolan's award this time. I think it has to be this time. Just for I'd rather, him, I'd rather him win that and lose Best Picture, to be honest. I want him to get a director award. You know what I mean? That's sort of. Yeah, but, but if anything, okay. it's more likely that Yogus wins that and Oppenheimer gets best picture. I think. Best picture. We're here. We're here. Why don't you tell us them? Go and tell us them. Do the weird ones towards the end. Do get the obvious ones out early. Okay, the obvious ones out early. American fiction. That's not That's an obvious nominated. one. That's not an obvious one. <laughs> that was when I was going to try and guess and work out what else is not. By the way, is it 10? This One, year. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's eleven. No, no it's ten. ten. <laughs> so we have got. I'm going to read them. I'm not going to read them the way you want me them. American fiction. We've got the zone of interest. Mm-hmm. We've got anatomy of a fall. Yeah, which I liked. I thought it was worthy. We've got the holdovers. Good. We've got Killers of the Flower Moon. Yeah, we know what we think about that. We've got Maestro. God, that's done well. Oppenheimer. Of course. Poor Things. Yeah, of course. Barbie. Oh, I didn't think it was going to get nominated. Okay. And Past Lives. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's really good. I'm yeah. very happy with that. Oh, that's, imagine if it won. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Oh, okay, I'm actually really happy about that. That's, that's good. Ended on a high there. Yeah. Yeah, good. Very so, good. Yeah, brilliant. Who do we think is winning that? Well, I'm, I, by the way, I'm surprised Barbie got nominated there. I thought for a second it wasn't going to get nominated. Because uh, what, what missed out there? Nothing's missed out, really, has it? They've got all the big ones. Every, 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 and then and the ones that they liked on the outside, like Zone of Interest, American Fiction, they all got nominated as well. Who do you think's winning? I think it's between Poor Things and Oppenheimer. I don't think anyone else has a chance, to be honest. Not even Past Lives? I'm very, very happy it's been nominated, but I don't for a second think it will win. It's extremely good, though, so I'm very happy for that. Um, all right, very nice. Okay, so who got snubbed? So May December, once again, barely got anything. May December only got one thing. Yeah, right? yeah. May December basically got snubbed. Uh, not got much for Indiana people. Jones this time. Not much for Indiana Jones. Only music, which feels like a nom for old uh... Williams. Um. So that was interesting then. So I, I thought Barbie would get a little more. I thought, well, not much more. I thought Margot Robbie would have been nominated. And then you could say, Barbie's got five nominations, whatever it would be. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, the, and then that helps the masses come back to the Oscars by having the two big films from the summer big contenders at the Oscars. So they gave Barbie best song. Yep. Supporting actor and actress. Best picture. That's four. No, they didn't give be... it a bit supporting act. Not best yeah. actress. 
No, I supporting actor said. and actress in both supporting actress, supporting actor, and also pr- uh, production. Yeah, America Ferrera and Ryan Gosling. So that's two there. Song, mm. picture, and pr- production design. So that's five. There you go. Didn't get a screenplay nom, did it? That oh, that should have been an indicator. No, it... Oh, did it? No. Uh, I doubt it. Yeah. Writing Wait. adapted screenplay, Bobby. Oh yeah, it did. Oh six then. Oh, it's done actually quite well. So no real big shocks there then. No, I don't no, understand no. why past lives. But to be fair, there's so many. There's a lot of English in past lives in Nightmare like, Before, so maybe there's too much English language in it. It must be that. There must be a, a reason. A reason. Danny, are, are you disappointed? Is there any film from last year that you saw that you thought, "Where was, it's not, it's not hit the, uh, it's not come here." What about no. Wonka? Nothing. Yeah. From Wonka. Maybe that would do better at the Baftas. I haven't seen the noms. Good, more like a Bafta film. <laughs> It will have got nominated for some of the Boogie Bafters. Bafters would have got best British film or something. God, can you hear yourself? <laughs> I hate it. It will that. get bloody nominated for something at the Bafters. Bloody hell. No, as in, you know, it's very it's biased, let's be honest. We know it is. Bloody hell. Dan, Dan, the Bafters have lost all of my um, sympathies when they give Barkab Abdi the award <laughs> for best supporting actor. And once a year, folks, this comes up. Anyway. What's his career like now? Come back to driving really? cabs, have you, in New York? Mm. Is he actually? Have you made no, that up? No, you yeah, have made that up. He was doing that before. Oh, why have we mm. let Bark about to derail the show again? <laughs> I can't stand him. It's not I can't stand him. He just obviously should not have won. Of course he shouldn't have won. Anyway. I am the captain now. What did he do it like that? <laughs> oh, it did. It got best British film. What did? Wonka. It's got nominated. What it did? The- Along with Old Oak. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Just wanted to finish. Let's just see the difference in calibre. <laughs> Do the best British film, just that one from the BAFTAs. The best sorry, Outstanding. Film. Oh, Outstanding, sorry. Outstanding All of British. Us Strangers. Which we didn't get a sniff here. How to Have Sex. <laughs> I don't need to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting so much poon tag. <laughs> Napoleon. Oh, oh Napoleon. the old oak. Sorry, Napoleon didn't get a sniff at the Oscars. Apart from yeah. he got some production design, whatever. Something like that. Yeah. Visual effects. The old oak. Poor thing. Sorry, old what? oak. Let's stop on the old oak. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, one sec. Why is Poor Things a British film? Weird. Next one. Old oak was <laughs> fucking boring. My God, it was so dull. Rye Lane. I hear that's, um, I hear that's going to rise to the occasion. Dan. Saltburn. Dan. I hear that's going to rise to the occasion. Very good. Oh, Saltburn. Didn't get a single thing at the Oh, Oscars. that's actually the biggest snub. But it's... Uh, yeah. it, wasn't, it wasn't amazing. It was good. No, it wasn't. It was good. It wasn't amazing. Yeah. Um, Wonka was there. The Plus Zone of Interest. And then Scrapper. <laughs> oh, Scrapper. <laughs> it might be good. But if it's as good as Old Oak, it's only on a list with Old Oak, so it might not be good. Uh, we really should have done an episode of that. Me and Dan went to the cinemas together to watch Old Oak. All right, Dan, let's finish it there. Dan, thanks so much for your time. You're very welcome. Barker Abdi, folks. Missed out this year. Um, no, congratulations <laughs> to all the nominees, if you're listening. Barker Abdi's come back stronger. Bye-bye. Like and subscribe.